Betty Wiseman, or B-Dub, has been many things to many people in her 52 years at Belmont University. A classmate, a colleague, a coach, a teacher, and a friend. But no matter her title, she's touched every person in every role. It was obvious to me that uh, if you want to talk about Belmont athletics, and really Belmont University, uh, it, it, it's about Betty Wiseman. One of a kind. <laughs> There's just no one like her that I've ever, ever met. She's in so many ways just special, but special's not the word. It's be way beyond that. She had an impact that can't be um, described with words. It, it's a feeling that you have on the inside, and I think that knowing Vita has changed the lives of so many people. We say uh, she's the mother of our department, but I, I think it's more than that. I think she's just the heart and soul of, and again, I would say the heart and soul of Belmont University and what it's meant over the years. I would say B-Dub's like a grandma to all of us. She kind of swoops us in and um, kind of gloats on you and tells you how great you are, kind of like a grandmother would do. She touched all, every athlete in so many ways, just just on a personal level. Uh, she, she, she hugged every athlete that ever came through here, I'm pretty sure more than once. She's just, she's very warm and um, there's nothing like a beat-up hug, honestly. There, there really isn't. I was actually being recruited, and I can remember meeting Betty, coming into her office, and just the warmth of her hugs, not even knowing me, and just her welcoming to me to Belmont before I even got to Belmont. We've all had the training that we're not supposed to hug each other, but it, just throw that out the window when it comes to Betty. It, you're going to get a hug, and so she has a pass on that one. Yeah, I love to give hugs, and. You know, I don't shake a lot of hands. I give a lot of hugs. And yes, I hug Dr. Fisher. It's just special for me to do that. And I think he's come to enjoy it. She hugs. She wants to know all about you. She wants, she wants to help you with whatever you need help with. And I think that's like the perfect image of Belmont is Betty Wiseman. You know, I just think she loved it from day one. It's almost like uh, the love of her life, quite honestly. I've given my life to this place. It's my home, it's my family. I spent 52 years on this campus. I gave, I gave my best to Belmont. I gave myself. And Belmont always gives back. They gave their best to me and, and they still are. I'll never forget that moment. It was very solemn. Um, it was just like a piece of us was missing almost. Yeah, of course, when you hear that C word, you always just cringe. No one wants to get that news that that call from the doctor that says, you know, you've got cancer. The first thing, you know, when it hits you, again, it was like a ton of bricks, and uh, quite honestly, you just want to cry. I mean, you just feel like, I, got, I just want to cry. What, what will Belmont do? What will happen if um, B-Dub doesn't fight this and she can't move on from this? I kept thinking Belmont won't be the same. Your heart kind of drops to the floor whenever you hear about someone having cancer, but especially her because she is such a God-fearing woman that you think like nothing bad can happen to her because she's such a good person. Athletes, um, it, it's, it was just uh, coaches. I just remember so many coaches and wives came, families, bring a meal in, have dinner with me and love me, sit. So yes, Belmont, Belmont went through it with me. I couldn't have done it without without people surrounding me with their love. When she told us that she um, you know, was cancer free, it was, it was such a great moment. Just hot pops all around, and of course a, a hug, <laughs> a big hug, uh, not, not, not one of those stiff ones. <laughs> I walk out, and outside of Sarah Cannon, my last day of radiation, were all these colleagues from athletics and across the campus who had come over there to Sarah Cannon, had come from work, and they gathered in the circle and they had all these balloons and they were waiting for me outside and uh, had prayer for me of celebration and Thanksgiving. And then we let all the balloons fly away. She did it with the uh a conviction that, that uh, God would take care of her, that she would be all right, and that she still had work to do. So 
that's the way we approached it, and we're just thrilled that she's now a survivor. My money was on her from the beginning. Still to this day, every time, you know, she says that she's cancer free, and I mean, I still get chills. I was thinking to myself, wow, like when Beat Up gets to heaven, there are going to be so many people there that she recognizes because she helped lead them to Christ. Obviously, it's just a, a moment of um, joy and celebration for the whole campus, and we were so excited that. She'll, she will continue to be a part of this university for years to come. Um, we're also excited for what the, the message that that sends of hope to so many other people that are afflicted and have to go through treatment, the inspiration. I mean, it's just like Betty to let something like that uh, turn into something that ins inspires other people. For Belmont All Access, I'm Emily Proud.